So we've made our way through the fishing village, the fishing hamlet. Now, admittedly, we ran past a lot of stuff, but holy hell. Welcome. What is it? Stuff is hard. Farewell, mate. Stuff is hard uh, in the fishing hamlet at, like, low level. There's so many enemies. So many enemies. This is a tire worn by Eileen the Crow, hunter of hunters, known in particular for her crow feather cape. Hunters of hunters dress as crows to suggest sky burial. The first hunter of hunters came from a foreign land and gave the dead a virtuous native funeral ritual, rather than impose a blasphemous Yarnum burial service upon them, with the hope that former compatriots might be returned to the skies and find rest in a hunter's dream. Anything else we need to buy? I feel like we've bought all the weapons. We already have an Evelyn. We already have a cannon. We already have that. Yeah, alright. Um, now we have an option here. If you want to, if you want to, you can you can go immediately to Braidor's cell and you can just kill him. You only have to fight one instance of Braidor if you do it that way. Um I feel like and, and, you know, that's fair if you want to do it that way. But, you know, I feel like we should we should fight him a little bit. I feel like that would be nice. Give him a... Give him a good fight. Try to, anyway. Now, there's a headstone here, and a lumen flower placed, well, I won't call it a headstone, there's a marker here. There's a marker here, as well as a lumen flower, and if we look over, we can see the body of Koss on the shore. And, you know, you're, you're kind of, you know... When we think Lumen Flower, we think, uh, we think Maria, right? Rusty made a joke earlier and was like, just don't summon, Simon. Just don't summon and you won't get invaded. But this is a nightmare. And you can always be invaded in a nightmare. Them's the rules. So that lead elixir that he's got there makes him uh, a poisy boy. Bloodied armbands. Braider donned a compatriot's beastly scalp and hide while still moist with blood. Most of the bloodstains on this hide were from that day. Keep in mind that, uh... Keep in mind that the first cleric beast was Lawrence. Uh, we learned that from his skull. These cleric dudes... Interesting. Um, you know how we saw in Lauren... We saw that uh, some of the beasts had the ability to control and wield fire. Uh, we those those pyromancer guys that we fought down in the chalice dungeons, if you'll remember. These fish cleric dudes have the ability to control uh, electricity. Um, and I suspect this is what uh, sparked. No pun intended. Uh, Archibald's interest in 
The the dark beasts were the dark beasts were what not nah, you know what yeah the the dark beasts are, are probably what like gave him an interest in that, but I I suspect that it was this type of electricity that Archibald would have been able to do anything with you know what I mean we 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 use beast claws as a weapon. And there's no innate, there's no lightning left in them. So I don't know, like, it, it just seems like this would be a good place if everything comes back to here. Oh no. Oh no. Jesus! <laughs> Is there any lightning builds in this game? Um, lightning is, uh, lightning is an arcane ability. Um, so the, the higher your arcane stat, the more damage you can do with bolt blood gems. So you can, you can put, uh, you can put bolt blood gems in your weapon. And if you have a high arcane, you can, you can get a lot of damage out of them. As far as, as far as like spells or arcane hunter tools that you can use, you can use the tiny tinnitus, and it creates uh, a really strong um, electric pulse that goes in a straight line. Um, it can be hard to hit people with it, but if you're fast, you can parry somebody and then hit them with it. Uh, before they're able to recover from the parry. So, like, arcane builds don't have a lot of skill, right? Maybe maybe you didn't give yourself a lot of skill. So now, you're, now your visceral damage sucks. But if you happen to replace a visceral attempt or a visceral attack with a, uh, with a, a tiny tinnitus hit, you can, like, melt people. These dudes have a lot of HP.
being very quiet. Yeah, see, he just dropped a bolt. He just dropped a bolt gem five, which is like 18% bolt attack up. And that's pretty good. That's pretty good for not having to step foot in a chalice dungeon. We'll take a look just to make sure, but I'm pretty sure it's 18. Yeah, 18.8%. That's not bad. Can you get Bolt Gems early game? Um, uh, not easily, no. Um, now, I mean, if you wanted to, you could rush this area. Like, you know, we're level 19, and, and we're, we're doing okay here. You know what I mean? As long as you play smart. Nazarius, um, if you ever see H. Twan, in chat, H. Twan, I think, had a dope-ass Beast Claw build. Um, they're interesting. They're not something you see people use a lot. Oh, that was close. The Beast Hide Garb. I absolutely, absolutely love this. It's so cool. You're you're wearing uh you're wearing like a cleric beast's hide as a cape, which is that's cool. But then like on top of that, you get you get like the 7 p.m. I've been drinking, got off work necktie, and it looks so cool. <laughs> I love it. Um it's, it also shares a very, uh, it also shares a very similar appearance to the foreign garb. The bloodied hide of a horrible cleric beast pulled over the back without the attached beast hide. This foreign garb wouldn't raise anyone's eyebrows. Braider donned a compatriot's beastly scalp and hide while still moist with blood. Most of the blood stains on this hide were from that day. Yeah, you can get fire gems pretty early by just doing the first chalice dungeon a few times and fighting the fighting the uh, the watchdog. You can get like 14%. You can get like 14% fire gems, which is pretty good. I'm trying to remember how the hell you get back to the top. 
I guess you take that ladder and then walk across the bridge. <coughs> Ooh, close. <laughs> The sound design in this game, when you're walking on these, like, creaky floorboards and stuff, it's so good. I don't... I don't know what it is, man, but, like, the Dark Souls 1 and Bloodborne just have, like, the best sound design to me. What is it, Bear? What is it? What is it, bud? <laughs> yeah? You just come over here to sneeze on my leg? Thanks, man. That's super cool. Well, that's what you did! That's what you did. So the the fishing hamlet dudes here, they seem to be harvesting the the shells that those weird slug ladies live in. We can use that roof as, like, protection against the lightning. But that lightning will reach you from far away. Case in point. Case in point! but it can't go through a roof. <laughs> Wait, what's up, Lucy? Dudes. Too many dudes! The gold helmet should make the lightning hurt more. Who says it doesn't? Huh? Who said it didn't? Now you got me curious. It actually has pretty good bolt defense. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Well, I mean, it's gold, though, right? Gold is not a good con conductor of electricity. Pretty easy to get bolt gems here. And uh, here we see the dudes, they're like, they're digging through the shells and they're pulling out what look like barnacles maybe, but like obviously I think we're supposed to draw some like semblance of eyes there, but also they're collecting the phantasms, they're collecting the slugs. Like this is what they do now. They've stopped being a fishing hamlet and now they, they exist solely to farm what essentially like great one stuff
Gold is a good conductor? Oh, it's a good conductor. Oh, I thought it was a bad conductor. Well, my bad. Look, I'm not, I'm not an electrician. I'm just a guy who knows about Bloodborne. Alright, now like a hundred people in chat have said that gold is a good conductor, but I think, I think, I think more people should say it. Can we get, can we get a few more people in chat letting us know that gold is a good conductor actually? I'm starting, I'm starting to believe you that it's a good conductor, but I'm not... I'm not sold yet. <laughs> so the slug ladies, holy shit, that's a lot of slug ladies. They have an interesting mechanic where if you hit the slug lady, you know, it takes damage. But if you hit the shell, it doesn't take damage. Like, it's kind of hard, I guess. Or maybe maybe arcane damage goes through. I don't know. But, like, yeah, if you hit the shell, it's like it doesn't do as much damage. But if you hit the shell part, it or if you hit the lady part, it actually does pretty good damage. They're also completely immune to lightning. Really? A poor man's gym is, uh, if you have low HP, you get a boost to your, uh, damage. It's the red tearstone ring gym. There's poor man's and, uh, and the, f what's, what's the opposite? Where if you've got full HP, it's like the fool's, fool's damp blood gym. And if you'll remember, when we came to the fishing hamlet, when we came here, we looked out off of the cliff into the water, and we saw beneath the water, we saw the hunter's nightmare, which is Yarnum. When we were in the hunter's nightmare, one of these slug snail ladies fell from the sky and just landed with a kerplunk uh, right next to us. Um, right near the whirligig saw. So it's it's one of those things where people... A, a lot of times when you're, you, you'll see people say like, is this real or is it a dream? Is it a nightmare? But like, one of the things that makes it Lovecraftian is the fact that, like, the answer to both of those is yes. It is real, and it is a dream or a nightmare. But, like, a dream or a nightmare is like a physical place. It's a place you can go to. It's a place that has, like, directions. Um, the idea that this, uh, you know, this nightmare is on top of another nightmare. Um... But that doesn't mean it's not, like, a real place.
bloodied foreign trousers. Braidor donned a compatriot's beastly scalp and hide, yada, yada, yada. Let's get the hell out of here. Get in your hole. Get in your hole. There's our shortcut. And there's an absolute must get blood rock over here. But in order to get the blood rock, we must oppose the winter lanterns. Got it cursed. Hey, yeah, just stay there. Yeah, just just stay there. Beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> I'll take it. I've earned it. Tempering damp blood gem and a kin cold blood. And then another droplet. So, if you don't want to go into Chalice Dungeons, these droplets from these Winter Lanterns, um, very easy to farm, and very good gems. 21.5% attack versus kin down, uh, and attack versus beast down. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Uh, in the game, Frenzy makes your blood go crazy and your blood actively tries to leave your body um, which makes sense because it's not your blood <laughs> uh, your blood is responding almost like magnetically to to some some sort of uh, stimulus um now, in terms of game mechanics, it's it's just bleed. That is some bullshit. Yeah, now we got a fools. We, we got a poor man's, now we got a fools. Alright, now we just need to kill one more cleric, I think. And then we get a free blood rock. The problem is, is that he's guarded by one of those ladies. Can I get her attention?
God damn you, From Software. Alright, here we go. Fuck! Thought I interrupted it. <sighs> Alright, so now we're going to do this the other way. And this is the way of the challenge runner. This is a deep and unknowable secret. But I will teach it to you, chat. You're about to gain insight in real life. Um, what you do is, you don't engage with the content. Do not, under any circumstances, engage with the content of the game that you are playing. Just run past everything. Nothing is real. All that exists is the item that you want to pick up. And, and the button that makes you run. And this... This is how challenge runners live. Now, that is an odd bolt blood gem. And what separates odd blood gems from regular blood, uh, blood gems is that they are not percentage based, but instead just like a flat whatever. We'll take a look at it once we get on the heff later. Add bolt attack plus 42. And then as a secondary ability, Bolt attack up 4.1%. We're also going to go down here and we're going to grab a blood gem. Um, that's, it's, uh, it's a kin up blood gem. A cursed kin hunter's blood gem. And what it does is it increases damage against kin. But keep in mind that not much in this game counts as kin. Uh, Celestial Emissaries, Brain Suckers, Rom. Uh, what am I leaving out? Celestial Emissaries, Brain Suckers, Rom, and I think there's like one other thing. Orphan is not kin. No, this does not help you against Orphan at all. Orphan is not kin because Orphan is a great one. Like, they're not the same thing. Kin, kin are like the little brothers of great ones. They're like, they're cousins. Like, you know what I mean? Like, they're, they're on the same family tree, but they are not, they're not the same. Then why is that gem even there? So you can use it against Chalice Rom. Pay attention to the crying noise, chat. You've heard it before. Congratulations! It's a boy!
<laughs> now is the time when I point out that all of Bloodborne crawling deep into forbidden dungeons forgotten long ago finding a god in the ruins all of it taking the blood putting it inside the people of Yarnum unleashing a plague of beasts it has all been one big gender reveal party for the orphan of chaos or, I'm sorry the orphan of cause wasn't supposed to be an R1. It was supposed to be a backstab grab. It just didn't go through. <laughs> oh well. GG's. No, sir. No, sir, again. What's up, guys? Have a good time. Have a wonderful time. Hey, uh... I found a skull, buddy. And, uh... Maybe this is your skull? I don't know. He's adjusting. I could be attacking right there.
when he's adjusting like that. <laughs> Chickened out. <laughs> put me in a corner. Nobody puts baby in a corner. This, yeah, this soundtrack, uh, absolutely incredible. Um, take it with a grain of salt because, you know, uh, it's a dead language people use to, it's a dead language people use in video game soundtracks to sound, you know, spooky and scary. But there's a dude on YouTube, if you look up, uh, if you look up Bloodborne OST Lawrence lyrics, there's a dude who made a video where he tried to, like, decipher the lyrics of the, the soundtrack, and it actually is, like, his, his, his deciphering is actually really entertaining. Punish that. When he moves around, we can punish that. We can punish this. Shit. Me out of the corner. Nobody puts baby in a corner. Oh, got too close. Got too close to the sun, and my wings melted. On, man. Oh, yes. Do you guys want to know his social security number? Please don't give away my social security number. It's seven! <laughs> oh, this is it. I messed up. Oh, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Move around. I'm. I am gonna get it. You're never gonna get I'm gonna get it. Never, I'm getting it right. Never, I am getting it right this minute. It. Right this minute, I'm getting it. <laughs> oh God! Bye, Jer Bear. Bye. Oh, fuck off! Are the hunters attacking the tentacle ogre to get to Lawrence? I don't think so, because, like, none of them have his... 
Well, I mean, maybe. I don't know. I don't know what the hell any of these people are doing. Real talk. Like, the, the hunters are engaged in hunting beasts. Do these dudes consider this thing a beast? Or does this thing, do they consider Lawrence, they want to kill Lawrence's body? And, and that guy's not gonna let him, for some reason. He's not cool with it. He's like, you leave his body alone. Goku Black, hello and welcome. Oh, come on, homie. Give me some I can work with. There you go. This sucks. Oh, that was free. That was free, and I chickened out. Oh, he's moving. Free hits. Just one. Just one. Free hit. Got two. Ah, that was silly. Just took a hit for no reason. Free hit. I missed. Free hit. Arm break. No. Arm break. That could have been so much better. Oh, head break. It never ends. Ow! Okay. That didn't do a lot of damage. Thankfully. I would appreciate it if he stopped. Okay. This is the part... This is the part where you can, like, trick him into falling down over and over again, but I don't know how to do it. I'm learning with you, chat. I'm learning with you on this one. Ow. Would you stop? It just ends. Just stop. Oh, you're kidding me. Oh, that was free and I just threw it away. Wall. I'm 
just burning through blood vials. GG. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Okay, he went for the little swipe and he didn't fall down. Alright, he did it there and he didn't fall down. But he did it there and he did fall down. But not there. Is it, do I have to be on the big hand? Is the big hand the one that makes him fall down? Nope. He did the big hand there and he didn't fall down. Maybe it is. Maybe the big hand makes him fall down. Good hitbox on this garbage, on this garbage! <sighs> I'm, I'm filled with righteous fury. Ah, ah. Now, in all honesty, we did, we did pretty good there. We made, we made some, uh, we made some progress on, on, on the understanding of the boss. And you know what? That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I'm not mad at that. I'm not mad at that. Yeah, you know, yeah, we lost. Sure, yeah, you lost. But, you know, we learned a little bit. You know, we, we just had, like, you know, like, maybe, like, four or five, like, honest good attempts. You know, maybe, like, 15 bad ones. But four or five good attempts. And that's not, that's not a bad place to leave it off.